In this video, we're going to look at the different types of energy stores and the ways in which energy can be transferred. The first type of energy store that we'll look at is chemical energy, and chemical energy is stored in food and fuels. Another type of energy store is a thermal energy store, and this is energy that is stored in hot objects. The next is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is stored in moving objects. Another energy store is gravitational potential. This is the energy stored due to the position of an object in its gravitational field. Basically this means that the higher the object is above the ground, the more energy the object will have stored in its gravitational potential energy store. So for example, as this lady is lifting the weights up, she is increasing the energy that is stored in the gravitational potential energy store of the weights. Or if we were to look at this bookshelf over here, the books on the higher shelf will have a larger store of gravitational potential energy than the books on the shelves lower down. Another type of energy store is elastic potential energy. If we were to squash and compress this spring down, this spring would then have a large store of elastic potential energy. This slinky here that has been stretched is storing elastic potential energy. The important thing about energy is that energy can never be created or destroyed. It can, however, be transferred between different energy stores. For example, when heating water on the fire, the chemical energy store of the fuel decreases and the thermal energy store of the pan and the water inside the pan will increase. The law of conservation of energy says that total energy before must equal the total energy after. During the energy transfers between different stores, for example chemical to thermal as we saw when heating water on a stove, there can be wasted energy. You can see here in the image, this infrared camera shows the heat energy being transferred from a laptop and other electrical equipment. This heat energy is wasted energy, it's not needed for the appliance to work, it's just wasted energy that is transferred to the surroundings. Most wasted energy ends up being stored in the thermal energy store of the surroundings. This causes the surroundings to heat up a little. The following three examples are ways of transferring energy. Electrical, sound and light. And these can be used to transfer energy between different energy stores. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.